Spies, a defining part of 2000s children's content. From Spy Kids Catch That Kid, The Kids Next Doors, Club Penguin, Secret Agent Missions, Totally Spies, Secret Agent Cody Banks, and James Bond 007 Nightfire, the best James Bond game, Fight Me. There was just something alluring to the idea of putting on a suit in 90 degree heat and listening to people while they don't know you're listening to them. Is that what spies do? And of course, the best spy toys were spy gear made by Wild Planet. From text communicators, faux night vision goggles, and motion sensor alarms, spy gear was an awesome toy line that focused on giving you toys for imaginative play. We gotta break into NASA. <laughs> I mean, why make real night vision goggles when you can just have um, imaginary night vision goggles with clear green plastic? I already talked about Spy Gear in another video, but there's just so many Spy Gear toys that I thought I would do it again. So let's crouch down behind a bush, talk to people in an invisible earpiece, and sell valuable information to rival nations. It's Spy Gear Volume 2. All right, champ. We recently caught you sneaking around the Kennedy Space Center looking all sketchy-like. Do you remember this from Spy Gear Was Weird, Volume 1? Are you catching my audience up? No, d d d you don't catch my audience up. Let me catch you up, pal. We caught you sneaking around the Kennedy Space Center again. I wanted some astronaut ice cream at the gift shop. Nobody wants astronaut ice cream. Not even the astronauts. What do you want from me? We confiscated your supplies, sweet cheeks. We were hoping you might be able to shed some light on what you were planning on doing with one pack of gum. What appears to be big foam. A large duffel bag filled with conspicuous items. You've got nothing on me. And a hat from the gift shop. Where did you get that? Why don't you tell us what you're doing here, friend? It all started with a cup and a ball. What you got there? Oh, it's just a cup and a ball. And with that, Spy Gear Volume 2. <laughs> Picture this, you go to big box retailer and you tell yourself, I want a pair of true wireless premium high quality earbuds, but I only got half of the money. But then it happens, a man, Ray J, taps you on the shoulder and says, there's another way, Billy. I say, but Raycon co-founder Ray J, how? You know how, Billy. Just look deep into your heart, but also your ears. <gasps> That's right, Raycon Premium True Wireless Earbuds are here to disrupt the premium true wireless earbud market. Their latest model, the Everyday E25s, are their best yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, a compact design, and a nice noise isolating fit. And consider expressing yourself with all of these fun colors. I got the really slick red pair here. I wear them all the time from when I'm walking around my apartment community trying to get exercise, working out at home, or when I'm trying to take phone calls without. So get some cool slick wireless earbuds buds by going to buyraycon.com slash billium to get 15% off of your order. And thank you again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Just a quick recap, Spy Gear was initially made by Wild Planet, but Spin Master, the creators of Bakugan, recently bought the brand, and by recently, I mean like eight years ago. I'm old, eight years seems recent at this point, oh my god. Spy Gear as a concept came around because Wild Planet founder Danny Grossman was actually accused of being a spy while spending time in the Soviet Union, so he did what anyone would do after facing such an accusation. He turned it into a successful product line. So I got a bunch more Spy Gear, so let's take a look. All right. So you use this gear for spying. Spy gear volume two, if you will. Why don't you tell me what this is? It appears to be some sort of spy gear XP4 spy pen with four snap-on tools for instant spy gear. That's exactly what it is. That's right, the XP4 spy pen with four snap-on tools for instant spy gear. Extreme gear for pro spies. This kit includes the spy pen, a pen slightly thicker than a regular pen. The reason for this absolute girth isn't to include four different colors like the dope XP4 regular civilian gear pen, but instead because it includes a compartment for two AAA batteries. Is everything in here being labeled for spies automatically disqualify it for being something spies can use? At the top of the pen, instead of an ink cartridge, is an electrical input for all sorts of quirky spy accessories. There's the strap-on spy scope, a sort of eyepiece that is supposed to enhance your vision. 
Somehow, I can't figure out which side to look through. Wow. This is really unremarkable. Clearly, you're not a real spy. Okay, I, I'm thirsty as well. Aren't we all? This is not a time to be horny. Oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. We're spies, not caressers of thighs. Oh, that was good. That was pretty good. Well done. I love Way slam to poetry. See <laughs> the motion detector also plugs into the pen. Why? Why on earth? What, like... The ultimate spy tool. <laughs> but like every time you like write a new letter, it's gonna be like going crazy. There's also the spy flashlight, just in case you need to spy on somebody when all the lights are turned off and they're also wearing an eye mask, ensuring you don't blow your cover. Holy sh**, dude. A, a cane, maybe? It's just another green piece of plastic that plugs into the light. How green? Uh, it's somebody, 1989 called. They want their cell phone Ew. back. <laughs> it's, it's big. Because <laughs> it's big. Big phone. <laughs> I hate that that's what wrote you. Big phone. Wait. What are you writing? Hope it's not related to espionage. Uh, no, it, it's absolutely related to espionage. Hello. Yes, yes. Alright, now we have the Spy Supersonic Ear Keychain, a smaller, more compact version of this supersonic ear listening device from the Spy Belt from the last video. Jumping into spy mode is easy when you have the micro size Spy Supersonic Ear Keychain. It amplifies sounds from all distances, from far away to your own heartbeat. <gasps> Love. That's the real spike here. You have a microphone, a satellite dish for sound amplification or aiming, and an earpiece. This one doesn't really work too well. I mean, it certainly makes things louder, but so does yelling. Some people in the last video told me you were supposed to listen through walls, uh, so we tested that. Did you hear what I'm saying? Wait, say it again. <laughs> <coughs> so no, it didn't work. I'm saying something. Again? There's some garlic in here. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's interesting to note that while this does have the Spy Gear licensing, this was actually made and manufactured by Basic Fun, who also made the Pokemon Pokeball keychains, which were always my favorite Pokemon toys. Basic Fun specialized in making miniaturized and keychain sized version of many toys, including very, very tiny versions of board games. I had a few of these as a kid. I'd love to do a video on them one day, so if you have suggestions, let me know. But besides the Super Sonic Ear keychain, they also made a Spy Gear Night Scope keychain. Pretty neat. We gotta find Robert Babylon. Robert Babylon? What in the Neil deGrasse Tyson chicken nuggets is that? You wanna tell me what these are? <laughs> daddy -o. Yes! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The Spy Gear Laser with a Z tripwire system. The kit comes with three Spy Gear Laser pods identified as LTW001, 002, and 003. In the last video, I looked at the Spy Gear Alarm System, which came with three radio motion detectors and a hub unit, which alerted you which of the three motion detectors were going off. Yeah, this is just a worse version of that. All right. So I've created a tripwire system. Wait, hold on, there's a spray bottle for showing the laser. Oh my God, I didn't know that I was in... Um, the Louvre. The Louvre. 
While the idea of lasers is inherently cooler than the idea of no lasers, the extra step you have to take in order to set these up decreases functionality of the toy when compared to the original motion tracker system, which functionally does the same thing. So here's what's totally bad and bullshit that besides my table now being soaking wet. To get these to work, you have to line up the laser with this point on a different device. So all three are armed, so. Hey, remember the laser collection volume two where Dr. Octagonopus said. System armed. <laughs> System armed. Okay, so everything's lined up. So first let's, uh, we gotta break in. I'm putting it below all of these things. And I have to try to break in. I, uh, the laser's not showing up. Everything's just getting really wet. Let's see if I try to grab it, if it'll, uh, if it'll yell at me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this doesn't work very well. <laughs> so come. No, no, let's try it. Let's try it now. Does it work in this light? It does. But in what circumstance would a spy need to use this? Is this like a training simulator? Maybe. I would say it's for training. Spies are meant to infiltrate and hack into like security systems. So this is like a mock trial. <laughs> Wait, you mean infiltrate like pythons in the Everglades? Here, what if I were to just... not armed again, is it? This is a very inconsistent toy. It only goes off once and then you have to rearm the system, I think. Yeah, I, I it's bad. I, I usually try not to say that, but it's just really bad. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is proprietary technology raises a lot of questions. Is there anything else you want to tell me about? No. I'm going to reach into the bag now. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I'm going to do it. Please. When Spin Master bought Wild Planet, they were just like, here's some money, and then they got the company, and then they negotiated a deal with McDonald's to do spy gear toys. At McDonald's! Holy shit, I want some chicken nuggets. All right, so this is, I think, the complete collection. I'm not totally sure if uh, there's duplicates in here, but we're just gonna go one by one. They literally, I can smell like that classic McDonald's greasy smell on them. Like, it's faint, but this was a Happy Meal, all right. I mean, these are all total hot garbage, but they're from McDonald's, so I feel like reviewing them at all is kind of unfair, but these were also fast food toys, and these were dope as hell, so you don't get any leniency. There's this lenticular eye scanner, this red light, which should really be a laser pointer. Why would a spy need to use switchblade style 3D glasses? So in a circumstance where you are a spy before the year 2009, when they stopped using this type of 3D technology, and also you lived a zero waste lifestyle and the person you were spying on was going to see a movie that was 3D. <laughs> this would be a circumstance to use these. There's this Bluetooth headset style green light. What's the ear thing? It's a light, Arizona, for when you need to hear things in the dark. That's why it's green. <laughs> That's why it's green. A big old grabby claw. Next toy. Oh, a tube. Very good. Um, it's a telescope. Uh, in case you are a spy who also has an astronomy hobby. So I can be like, oh my God, is that the subject or is that Sagittarius? All right, um, and it could be green as well in case, uh, in case you're into that. 
All right. Um, Faux night vision from like Spy Girl Toys yeah. is like top tier <laughs> <shit> posting. <laughs> like, it really is just like a <laughs> shit post. <laughs> It's just like, here's a, here's a piece of green plastic. Go nuts. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Projectile missiles for when you hooligan spies need to have some office hijinks when you're planning out your next spy mission in the conference room. Oh my god, more spy office hijinks? Look at this little watch. <laughs> All right. Where were we, guy? You got it. Ah! Man. Special sauce. That's hard to get out. If you'll excuse me for one second, don't uh think about doing any spying or anything. All right, help, I've been captured by NASA. They're looking for somebody named Robert Babylon. That's all I know, but we're one step closer to unraveling their whole operation. Uh, Billy, you, you never told us how to use the video chat device. The Spy Gear Video Walkie Talkie, the first Spy Gear toys I've talked about that are actually produced by Spin Master as opposed to Wild Planet. These were released in 2015 and retailed for about $60. Instead of using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to connect these to each other, they actually use a radio frequency to communicate pretty instantaneously and wow, it blew my f***ing mind. So you just turn these on like this and then just easily right away, they connect to each other and there's a video signal. There's Lexi. Now pan over. Just... Just taking some selfies on my flip phone. It just works! That easily! Uh, hey Billy, why don't you use that big old laser you got there in that there bag? Good idea. Sorry for the delay, uh, turns out fast food just passes right through you. What you got there, sport? Hands up! Ah! I'm getting out of here! Hey, <laughs> we can talk about this. <laughs> oh, I intend to. And now we're at the Holy Grail toy, the one I never got as a kid, but really, really wanted the Spy Gear laser tag wristbands. Catch spies with a real laser blast. Haha. -ha. God, I, my finger's too big for this. I'm too big. Am I too old to be playing with this? Oh my God, did I snap it? Oh yes, I did. Oh fuck. Maybe the other one needs to be on too. Oh, they do work. It's just my wrists are too large. God, that's what I get for drinking all that milk to get big strong bones as a kid. I'm drinking all that milk. No mom, I want to be able to play Spy Laser Chase forever. I need little weak bones. Oh my god, you need some help. No, I got it. Okay. okay. Probably won't stay. Oh my god, oh, my <laughs> now my middle finger's too big. Oh my god. You get to put it over your finger first. Let's try, wait, try <laughs> Excuse you! I'm sorry, it's the toy! How's your onigiri, your homemade onigiri? Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> it beeped, remember? It's it making two noises, that's oh. it. But when you hit me, it's, mine's supposed to beep. Really? Yeah. So wait, hold on. Uh, the sixth and final hit makes a loud explosion sound. On the fifth hit, your laser taste unit will beep five times, meaning you are done for. Fuck. Let me, here, hold on, turn it off. Turn yours off too. Maybe we already. I'm making noises, you're not making noises. You know, that one works. We can almost try to infiltrate NASA again with this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, that explains when you decided to infiltrate NASA, but not why. You do realize, of course, Kennedy Space Center is primarily a 
tourist attraction, right? All right, that's enough talk. Turn around, I'm getting out of here. I wanna take this nice and slow. I fully intend on stopping at the Dippin' Dots stand on the way out. Oh! Not so fast, fast boy! Dippin' Dots are for good boys only! I don't know what you expected. We are NASA. Who's Robert Babylon? Who's Robert Babylon? Don't play ignorant, sweet baby boy, light of my life. We know you've been in cahoots with Babylon since the beginning. I have no idea what you're saying! Let me reach into my coat. Oh, no, 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 no! I know better than to trust a man with coat pockets! Careful, I've got some Funyuns in there. I don't want them to get too crunched. I think I touched something sticky. You probably did. Aha! Case 24.99. Like from Spy Gear was weird, volume one. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Babylon. We've been suspicious to your connection to Babylon for quite some time. You might know him as Robo Baby. <laughs> this is so dumb. That's impossible. I I lost Robo Baby in a move. It's ju it's just a toy. So much more than that. We'd like to recruit you, Billy. A little collab, if you will, between Billiam the YouTuber. And NASA, a federal agency of the United States government, will cross-promote on Twitter and everything. But I'm so tired. We don't know what Robo Baby is capable of. But it really freaks us out. Goosebumps, cold sweats. I'm talking the heebie-jeebies, baby. We've got unlimited funds and a ton of... Of spy gear. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the, the NASA subplot was just supposed to be this cute little funny one-off thing, but this is serialized storytelling. Oh, and Billy, one more thing. I'm in. Okay, so like, NASA... Keep sending me all of these emails. They're worse than a multi-channel network. Just like, you know, we want to collab with you, Billiam. Billiam, we want to work with you. Grow your channel with NASA. It's so obnoxious. It's getting kind of awkward at this point because I said yes, because I'm an incredibly anxious person and I have a lot of trouble saying no to people. But now I'm stuck with them. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep ignoring their emails. Sorry for the wait. We've been really busy around here lately. NASA just launched the first shuttle from US soil in years. Oh yeah. How long has it been since the last one launched? Oh, I don't know. I just started working here. You know, NASA doesn't normally do collabs like this. Uh, but I can tell you, SpaceX is pretty neat. SpaceX? You mean like SpaceX? SpaceX, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, it's SpaceX. Like space, space X. There's only one space, son. 